So, moving on to builders, um, this one is um, manufactured by a um, guy down in uh, Bristol in the UK called Drummond and Hammett, that's the guitar company name, um, really nicely built. Uh, it's, it's more expensive than the, the, the other one, which I'll grab in a minute. Uh, you know, it kind of feels like a proper proper instrument. It's it's less sort of DIY and it's a bit more of a um, nicely finished thing. You know, it's got sort of like binding and all the rest of it. Um, but it pl plays really nicely, sounds really good. Um, uh, for, I, I, th I think it's good good value for money. Um, it's quite quite versatile. Um, you can go for one pickup or two two pickups. Uh, I went for two. Um, I mean, in, in, in terms of pickups, the bridge pickup. Uh, it just sounds um, more twangy, more high pitched. The, the neck pickup sounds um, more sort of mellow, more woody, closer to the neck. And then you get a slightly out of phase sound if you have two of them on. So you, you get three sounds with two pickups. So um, you'd think it'd be twice as um, loud, but it's actually quieter because there's some sort of phase cancellation between certain frequencies. Um, It's also got a tone control on it as well, so uh, you know, volume great. Uh, I generally leave it on full. Uh, you, you can roll it off a bit. Um, I'll, I'll sort of explain a bit more about that uh, when we look at amps um, in another video. But uh, tone, basically, that's that's full. That's normal sound. That rolls off some of the higher frequency. Um, so um, cigar box guitars generally quite mellow sounding compared to sort of solid body electrics um, but if you find it's not mellow enough for your tastes you can you can roll that off um, you know you, you can get like your classic <laughs> Clapton woman tone or brown brown sounds. Um, if I if I roll this back up again, you can probably hear there's just there's a little bit more bite to it when when you have like the full full frequency range going on. Uh, pickups. These are mini humbuckers. So um, a humbucker. Uh, has a little bit of um, sort of phase cancellation um, it, it, itself. It's, it's basically like two single coils which um, work uh, in series, I believe. And um, uh, they were designed so that they would get rid of um, like hum buzz. Uh, if, if you see any sort of like Hendrix um, videos from the 60s, like when he's not playing uh, live, that is, uh, you can hear a big racket coming off the stage. That's off his single coil. Fender pickups. Um, so the, these were developed. Uh, well, the, the sort of normal size, thicker one, say on a Les Paul, was developed to, to cancel that out. But um, you, you don't get as much of a dynamic range on them. Um, but uh, mini humbuckers or seem to work particularly well on um, cigar box guitars because they've got a bit more bite to them um, than the, 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 the normal size ones because because they're, they're magnets. Um, the pickups. So um, the, the the range of the um, the magnet, the magnetic field, is 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 smaller, um, is thinner uh, than the standard ones. So that the the sound is thinner. It picks up a a, a, a smaller portion of the string when it vibrates. Um, I'll I'll do a quick demo on a um, six string in a minute, just so you can hear a, a normal single coil. But um, yeah, they they seem to work quite well. Uh, I will just very quickly show you this other one. Okay, so we're back on the other guitar. Um, so just before I go into like, who, who made this one, um, this has a hot rail in it. Now it looks like a single coil. It's the same dimensions as a single coil, but it's actually a humbucker. It's got two rail um, magnets as opposed to the normal um, six pole pieces. Uh, so it's um, it's got a lot of bite. It's like you, you get different um, amounts of output. Um, depending on how how the, the pickups are wired, so this 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 one's got quite a high output, so it, it, it's quite chunky when you when you crank it up. Um, but 
the, um, the, the range of the magnetic field is, isn't going to be so wide because it's a thin, physically thin pickup. So um, that um, sort of re re restricts the, the sort of fatness of the tone. Um, this, this one only has a, a, a volume control on it, but like I said, I, I hardly ever use the tone, so I don't, I don't miss it. Uh, so this particular one was made by a guy called Chicken Bone John. Uh, he's West Country based. Uh, I think he's Birmingham. But um, so th this, this is actually, um, it, it's been kind of customised quite a lot, but it, it was his, I think, pretty much bottom of the range. Um, uh, but it, it's really good, you know. Um, it's quite a bit cheaper than than this one um but it, it plays well you know the um the, the intonation's good um it's got a nice sound to it it's, it's got um, a, a nice sort of even though it's like you know relatively sort of cheap cheap wood on the the, the, the body it actually sounds pretty good plays well um so th this was actually bought for me by a, a previous student who first got me into cigar box playing and um i, I just thought i'd, I'd customize it a bit so um i i got a, like a custom nut built um swapped what was a, an original pickup out um for this hot rail which, which which sounds a bit better um but you know again for the for, for the price that it, um was paid for it it was it was completely acceptable um the original didn't have a volume on it either but some some of his models do so uh, we, we put this on moved the um moved the input over to the side and and uh, put put the volume control in uh, but apart from that, all, all the rest of it's standard, well, apart from the, the paint job. Um, so I, I personally did this. Uh, so this isn't actually, um, not, neither of these are actual cigar boxes. Uh, this, this, this is just a, a body that's been built up similar to this one. And, uh, and again, you know, um, I, I can't remember what the individual action was like, but I, I had this um, put up sort of quite, quite high, you know, so um, uh, if, if you contacted him, you could probably, you know, specify uh, how you wanted to play. Um, I think um, people like Chicken Bone John um, and uh, I think the CB Gitty in the uh, US as well, um, they, they actually um, you know, produce lots of um, sort of custom things for three strings so you can get pickups where the, 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 the pole pieces, the single um, cylinder magnets are spaced more um, you know, according to how we, we've generally got the strings on, on, a, on a three string which are a little bit further apart than a standard um, six string electric. Um, and, and you can get, like I said, custom sets of um, strings as well. So, you know, if you want to go down that route um, or indeed, you know, p people like to make, make their own pickups as well. Although the, the winding of them, uh, I've not done it myself, but I believe it's, um, you know, it can be quite tricky. People often use use some kind of, you know, machine because there's, there's a lot of copper wire, thin copper wire that goes around. Um, but... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, th this, these, these two are both um, like six string electric pickups, but uh, I haven't noticed any issues um, in, in, in terms of, um, you, you know, the, the fact that maybe the, because the, 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 underneath this casing um, is going to be separate pole pieces. Um, and then, like I said, this is a rail going across and, and I haven't noticed um, any, any issues with, with putting like a six string um, pickup on a, on a three string guitar. It still works pretty well. You know, when I, when I go uh, to the six string guitar in a minute, um, you, you can probably hear that, you know, we're not like using any volume or anything like that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a bunch of other builders. Uh, it just so happens I have these two. Um, again, I'm not getting any uh, money from anyone for, for doing these videos. It's just a bit of a gear review. So uh, we'll just go over to the six string and um, we'll just have a listen to an uh, actual single coil uh, next to a humbucker. So unfortunately, I've not got a three string uh, with single core pickups, uh, but this one, uh, we can get a single core sound out of it. So we're on a, a six string um, fender here. Uh, this has got two humbucker pickups but um, I can what you call coil tap them. So uh, the, un underneath these um, casings, I'll just go to the close up, underneath these casings, uh, there's, there's two um, sort of single coils with um, the, the six pole pieces for the six strings. Um, and you can basically switch one of them off um, so you, you can get a, a, a reasonably sort of accurate um, single coil fender sound. So you just do it with these little push pull um, these are on the tone knobs. So basically this one is for the neck, uh, the bridge, sorry, and this one is for the neck. Uh, three-way three, three -way, 
um, pickup selector switch so it'd be quite similar to uh, if you have two pickups on your um, cigar box then uh, the chances are you'll get sort of similar range of tones as this uh, solid body though um, with a cigar box guitar you get um, much more of a sort of woody kind of brown sound um, uh, effect because um, it, it doesn't sustain as much um, so if you think about um, like uh, you know sort of Hendrix compared to BB uh, King um, sounds that that type of thing so Hendrix famously played as Strat BB King plays Gibson um, ES335 you know one of the um, semi semi hollow ones um, and and um, it, it just has a more sort of earthy, um, less sustained, kind of less bright, a um, bit more of a sort of mellow sound. So it'd be you know somewhere closer to, to what you get on a cigar box. But basically, we'll just start off with um, coil tap. So these are single coils. This is the bridge setting. So re reasonably clean again. Um, This is the neck. So much more sort of mellow, softer, less bite to it. And this is both of them. Now you get a sort of out of phase tone, a bit like I was, exactly like I was describing on the, the three string before. That's full uh, bridge, it's full neck that's the um, out of phase but both of them so it's a bit softer so that that'd be something closer to what you'd get on a, a telecaster actually than a, than a strat um, just because of the two pickups um, now if we switch these to humbucker so we'll start with the chunky bridge full humbucker straight away you get a lot more volume it's also much sort of thicker sounding just go back to single coil you can hear that really like again if you're playing through a, a valve amp the humbucker is going to be driving it more, so you're going to get more gain. So a lot of it is, um, you know, personal preference. Um, this is the neck full humbucker. is coil tapped again so you can hear it's much less it's not really driving the amp as much and then finally this is um, both positions and uh, finally um, you can you can have a listen with a bit more gain so we'll go back to the bridge so this is a uh, single coil with a bit of gain Full humbucker. So that's much more beefy there. So you can probably hear the difference there. So if you think of um, you know sort of like no notable um, players on different instruments, so single coil, say something like um, Hendrix, uh, Eric Clapton, or um, Dave Gilmore, maybe humbucker. You could have uh, Slash, um, Gary Moore, um, people like that. You know, so a lot of like harder rock will often be humbucker, um, and obviously like BB King, but that's a different different style of guitar. But um, yeah, so. That's humbucker. This is humbucker with the um, neck. And this is single coil. This is 
Uh, uh, so this is this is out of phase. So. is coil tapped out of phase. So even though uh, there's distortion on this, it sounds, you know, much less angry. So there's one more notable type of pickup. Uh, unfortunately, I've not got a three string with these on either. Um, so a Gibson six string. Uh, these are called P90 pickups. So they're quite fat, um, like physically much bigger than a standard um, single coil. Uh, but they are actually single coils inside. Uh, they're, they're just much um, larger um, sort of what winds. Um, uh, so basically, if, if you th look at the physical size of them, I'll just go to a close-up here, if you look at the physical size of them, uh, that they, they just have a thicker sound, you know, you can just like see that the, the um, <coughs> magnetic field is, is going to be much wider than on a standard single coil. Um, so they have a nice sort of warm tone, a little bit of bite to them. Um, it's kind of a good compromise in between uh, humbucker and single coil, I suppose. Um, so I'm on, I'm on the bridge at the minute. Um, so it's got a nice, you know, slightly throaty, but a um, little bit thicker, a little bit of a thicker sound than, than a typical um, single coil. Obviously, bear in mind that this, this is a solid body again as well, so it's going to definitely sound different on, on your um, instrument. So if you if you're considering fitting these, they, they might work quite nicely on a uh, on on a you know sort of semi hollow style um, cigar box. Um, but um, this is the bridge pickup. This is the neck. So again, much more mellow. Than, much more mellow than the neck, the bridge pickup, uh, out of phase, both of them. So nice, um, nice sort of fairly mellow sound. So that's that's some clean tones, and then same uh, distortion, neck, bridge, sorry. It's got a lot of bite down here. Um, neck pickup. So yeah, so basically, uh, if you're either um, building your own or you know maybe commissioning somebody to build one for you, um, definitely something to think about. Uh, do you want to? Definitely give you like a much more of a sort of versatile range um, of sounds. Um, what type of pickup do you want? You know, you could even like mix and match a little bit um, if you wanted. But um, um, yeah, that is about it. And uh, we'll uh, we'll be back very soon with a bit more sort of gear breakdown, uh, looking at amplifiers. So maybe the difference between, like I said, be in the first video, difference between valve and uh, transistor, like maybe a little bit different types of valves. Um, you know how how you can sort of like crank the gain, that kind of thing. Uh, so I hope that was useful, and we'll see you here again soon on Code Guitar. <laughs>